Hello YouTube. Welcome to my rad reality. My name's Dave. I, uh, when I'm not working full time, I, I'm at home spending time with my fiance. We're actually getting married in 11 days. So, hello. Yeah. So, uh, when, uh, we're home relaxing, we do just hanging out. I like playing video games. I like playing online, hanging out with my friends on there. My fiance Rachel likes to sit around and watch me play. Sometimes I laugh at my ass when I get killed. And I thought people like watching other people play online. It's pretty entertaining. I thought, why not just jump into it? So this is my channel. I will try to post uh as many of these as I can. Um, I don't get to play all the time, but there's certain games that I do play frequently that uh, I can have plenty of recordings of, like Grand Theft Auto Online, Destiny, and uh, I will get the new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 as well. So for all you Call of Duty fans, that could be fun um, I enjoy a lot of uh, single-player games love a game with a good story and something intense so I have Batman Arkham Knight uh, I recently got uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 and I reserve Fallout 4 but the crazy thing is, my wedding's in is on November seventh, and after that, we're doing our honeymoon. So by the time I get back, Black Ops Three, Fallout Four, will be out, and then a couple of days after we get back, Star Wars Battlefront comes out. So <laughs> no idea when I'm going to be able to play everything, but basically, whatever I get to play, if I record at a good time, I will share it with you. So why not just jump right into it? I'm actually playing GTA right now. I'm in uh, the creator mode. And uh, what you're looking at is a baseball field. No. <laughs> uh, I was running around this place and I found the baseball field. And then I also found, um, I don't know what you call these. It's like for bikers and skaters to, I forget what the hell they call it, that bowl or dip or something I don't know somebody will comment it and I have a few friends who are going to look at me like oh my god he doesn't fucking know what that is <sighs> so let's see we got that and we have a basketball court and I'm like alright you can't play basketball in GTA unfortunately you can't play baseball and you sure as hell can't skate you could ride bikes on here but uh, I thought, no, let's make a death match. Let's do something so that um, you want to come out here and basically have a, a shooting fest out here. So I wanted to make it a little bigger than just the three fields here. So as you see, I've got Team 1 by the diamond, by the, the field here. I've got team two at the basketball court. And I don't usually do this when I make, well, sometimes I do when I make death matches, but I decided to make a team three. And I put them, where did I put those guys? I don't even remember where I put them. That's pretty bad. Where the hell is team three? They're somewhere. I thought I put them... Oh, you know what? I think I know where I put them. Actually, no, I don't know where I put them. Holy crap, where did I put Team 3? How could I have lost Team 3? I went, hold on. This will help. <laughs> That's where all the purple is. I think. 
Oh, there they are. Okay. So they're by this building over here. So it's almost like it might be better if you're on... Because then you can sneak up on Team 1 and Team 2. And it's actually far away where it feels like you can't just snipe them as soon as you spawn. So that's a good thing. Uh, I thought I'd show you this because I... Um, I have a bachelor's in digital filmmaking and video production, and I have a associate's degree in graphic design from the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. I got into being creative and doing a whole wide variety of things, and that's one of the things I love about this game, that you can uh, create death matches, create races. You have a whole city. And if you're not familiar with GTA or creating levels, then I'll see if I can give you an idea. But basically, all of this that you're looking at on my screen... Hold on, maybe that was too fast. All this that you can see on my screen right now. You could literally make a deathmatch or a race or a plane race or anything here. Every single centimeter of this, you could do whatever you want. And you can go even further out. Like, it's just... It's insane. It's like... the, It's like... It's endless. And it's awesome. They keep coming out with more shit. So, if Rockstar ever sees a video like this, then uh, you're doing the right thing. Keep putting out more shit. Uh, okay, so... As you can see, I already started laying out the spawn points and all that, so my next uh, order of business when it comes to creating a deathmatch would be laying out the weapons. <clears throat> so, I like, hold on a second, they fixed this a little bit. Hmm. Now you could put every weapon in here. Okay. So I like laying out two of everything. I mean, pretty much for those who uh, already have these weapons, they don't need to worry about it. But if you're like a level, I don't know. 20 or less, you're not going to get any of this shit. Which sucks. So I figured why not help out. Throw in a couple of these bad boys in there. Yeah, throw a minigun in there. Who can't, can't go wrong with a, uh, a minigun. Can't go wrong, uh, can't go wrong with grenades. Let's see, let's try. You know what I really like? Molotovs. You can't buy Molotovs. It kind of sucks you can't buy them in the store. But, uh... They're just fun to throw them at people and watch them burn alive. And that might sound pretty bad. But we're talking about a video game here. Who doesn't like seeing anyone burn alive? <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll put it right here, I guess. I'm not going to throw the health there just yet. Alright, that's it for that. Now we'll go... Yeah, we'll go to this team and do it so. Let's just do one. One. You might be asking about the whole... Oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> the grenade and the grenade launcher and the rocket launcher. Yeah, I, I have a thing for explosives. I love seeing things blow up. You can ask anybody. I could be in a... Uh, in a match online where you have to shoot it, where you have enemies chasing you. 
I'm the crazy guy throwing bombs at him. Ooh, I got an invite. Of course, he doesn't know what I'm doing on here yet. But he'll see it. I keep forgetting to bring him a banana pie. He's going to kill me for that one, too. Probably in my sleep. Yeah, okay. Um, where are we at? Minigun, okay. And we got the grenade, I think, and the Molotov, okay. I think they're set too. Alrighty. Vehicles. It's a tough one for this one. Sure, you could pick a few different cars and make it look realistic that the, those kind of cars would be there. But then again, we're talking about somebody who loves explosives, right? So, I like doing, uh, like, tanks, jets, the buzzard helicopter with the rockets and the machine gun. But in this particular area, I... I don't even know if I'm going to do the helicopter. I usually do a helicopter in every level. Just to give that person an extra advantage. Or, you know, someone who wants to know what it's like to fly one of those. Now you get to find out. You get to shoot some shit. And you get to get shot at. Because those things are so hard to control. But I don't know what I'm going to put here. And traffic is going to be on. So you're going to have advantages to some of the other cars so let's I don't know, see what we got oh, we're not doing that well we could do that Shay would like that you know what for Shay props so there's another thing that I like to do in my creative matches here because if you've played a deathmatch here you know that you run in, you run down this hallway you can jump over the gate uh, you can run all along the field, you can run by these buildings, but you can never go on top of the buildings. Like, there's absolutely no way. I mean, yeah, there's, there's, you know, you can go up the stairs here, but you can't go on the roof. And why would you want to go on the roof? Well, why not? You can see the whole guy, you can see the whole field right here. Um... On each building here, you've got like a really good advantage, like good vantage points. Aside from the fact you could have like a whole rooftop battle too. So it's like, why not get on the roof? So how would you get on the roof? Okay, well, I place, um, like what are they called? I'll show it to you. For crates and boxes, it's a float pile. So you put this by one of the buildings, and suddenly you're at the height where you can jump on the roof. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see what we got. So I've made one right over here. So it's like a pathway. So you have to jump on top and get on here, and jump on the box, get on here, and you'll get on the roof. It seems like it's a little bit of work, but. Well, let's face it, you're getting access to get to the top. It should be, you know, it, you should work for it. Uh, okay, but it wasn't this that I was using this time. It was the new shit that they put in here. The, uh, there we go. Single sand block. I love this thing. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right if you want to jump on the damn building. So like right here, and if you want to know for a fact, then come on, really? Okay, well, 
You'll have to see it when I test it. Okay, so here's something I definitely want to do. Let's get a triple one going on. And let's see if we can get people to walk along there. So it's going to have to be one of those things where you literally run up and you have to make a jump for it, but that actually didn't work out the way I wanted to. you go get on top of that. I just hope you can make it, but I'm not sure if you can. Let's well, screw it. This will work. At least I hope so. Yeah, that'll work. You climb on top of that and poof, you're good. But then you can't cross over if you wanted to. sinking? Oh, because you already sank. Alright, gotcha. Is that, no, that's not possible without that. That might be acceptable. You'll definitely make it, and you can definitely go either way. This I'm going to make the rest run all the way around. I don't care. That's that's okay. That, ooh. That fit perfectly. Unless it seems like it would fit perfectly. Yeah. Works too. I even have to put it in, in the middle of the air. Now let's make sure. I swear you do that. Okay. Yeah. You can definitely reach that. I would show you that you could reach it, but you can't because I don't know. <sighs> if you're familiar with GTA on PlayStation 3, when you created. If you were in Creator and you did death matches and stuff like that, when you tested it, you were able to jump up and down and climb shit without actually having to test the level first. I missed that. A lot. Because now I have to try to remember all the things I did and try to figure out... Just trying to figure out um, I try to remember everything and try to figure out all my tricks and see if it all worked. Cause then you know you start playing with your friends and they're like, Hey, I couldn't reach up here or you know, this didn't work out too well and I'm like, Oh shit. And I go and fix it. See, I don't even remember where the hell I've been I've been this whole time. Are you laughing at me? She's not laughing at me. Not this time. In case you're wondering, uh, 
It's Rachel that's sitting next to me over here. She's on her laptop watching something creepy and ghost-like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when I shoot videos, if you hear another voice or you see me talking to somebody, that's who it is. Sometimes. No, it's not myself. It's Google. <laughs> uh, okay. Apparently there's a lot more than I want to do in this place that I wasn't aware of. Because now I want to make... I want to make that happen with these places. Maybe even connect the roofs from one to the other. So it's more than just the main arena where I want everyone to fight. It's about getting there and getting there in the most unique way. But yeah. I think I'm going to save this and we're going to have it to be continued. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll try to do another one of these so that we can see where this one ends up. Catch you guys later.